Okay! Sorry, that's not how I like to start a tutorial, but, you know, deal with it. Wow, this, this feels awkward. Um, and I've got hiccups. Never mind. Okay, right, so we're looking at taking a Cinema 4D project and plop ping it into After Effects. Um, don't know why I did that voice, it just suited it. Um, so, just going to take a look briefly, what have I got here? It's a short animation. Um, it is. It is some um, 3D text. It's not an actual font, it's something I created in Illustrator. Um, you can check out my tutorial for going from Illustrator to um, from Illustrator to what's it called? Um, Cinema 4D. Um, so the light comes up. If I just render that, you can see. Yes! One second! Unwanted, never mind. Um, so, and it's also in a dome to give it some reflection. How do we export it to After Effects? Well, it's quite simple. Um, click this button here. That's our render settings. Now, yours will be a floating panel, but I've um, docked it. If you want to know how, how to dock it, um, first of all, your um, viewer will look more like this. Um, what you do, you right click and you press make tab, and then you grab it and drop it on top of the current tab. But obviously, I don't want it there. I want it here. Okay, so you can see that I've already changed some settings. Um, what I've done, I've gone into multi pass and I've added some extra channels. How do you add extra channels? Well, see this multi pass button? You click that and you choose all of the uh, extra channels you want. So I've done that. Anti aliasing, you want to set it to best, and I've set it to still image because I want all the detail. Um, you can um, it, just just stick to still image for now. Output, I'm doing just 720p. Um, and here's what you want to do. You see this, you save your image, you want to do it as an RPF. Yep, RPF, include the alpha channel, and the multipass, choose a location for that. Also RPF. And here... Is a drop, drop is a drop down box called compositing project file. Drop that down, and it will give you some options. First of all, you want to make sure that you're saving a project file, and you also want to choose your um, compositor. So it gives you Shake, Motion, Final Cut, all the all the, the all the like pro um, applications, um, but none of the um, well, we got Combustion, but we don't have like um, Flame or anything like that. Include 3D data and red. Here, just check, um, check them and choose where you want to save it. Very simple. I've already saved it. And then what you want to do is hit the render button, which is this one here. And, um, and then they're saved. So if we navigate over to Adobe After Effects, we want to find a um, Window. This is the um, file that I outputted. As you can see, it's AEC, which is After Effects Composition. So, drag that in. It'll work around a bit. I'm trying to work out why, well, what you're doing because it's not used to importing compositions. Um, there's actually a small little file file that you need to put in into the plugins folder in After Effects that comes on your Cinema 4 install Cinema um, 4D install disk. So. We've got these cool options. What are these? So, in how composition, here's our different layers. And double click the composition to load that up. And as you can see, we've got exactly what we just had. Um, because if we go in Cinema 4D, you can see that I do, in fact, have a camera as well. There's my camera. So it's looking through the camera, and we've also got the light, which is pretty cool, um, which is good if you want to add like um, lens flares, something. So um, correct, new solid.
effect. I'm very pleased with this. Thank you very much, Video Copilot. Co Fan uh, fantastic product. Well pleased with that. And show it on, on transparent, and then change it to light. And what you need to do is you need to bring down the brightness because um, it's a little OT, OTT, um, mainly because it uses the brightness from the actual light and um, brightness is a bit too much. So if we go into the light settings actually, see the intensity is at 951 and that would have been the right intensity for Cinema 4D. But not for After Effects. I'm really sorry about these hiccups. The camera is a bit off center. What I'm more inclined to do, because I don't want to mess with the um, keyframes, is I'm going to create a new layer, new, no object. Hit enter. Call it camera null. Ooh, go back to our Cinema 4D composition and we're actually just going to link the camera we go U to show all keyframes we um, see we just parent it to the null that should be fine and then we just move our null object Sorry, I've got I've got an annoying mouse at the moment. Well, it's it's a good mouse, but the scroll wheel is annoying me. I'm gonna have to sort that out. Um, and oh, so what you can do is if we grab our these objects, I'm trying to work out. It, there we go. We can center our text like that. So that is it in a nutshell how you would uh, bring in a uh, Cinema 4D project. Now the problem with 3D is that you can only bring it into a compositing program. Um, yeah? Yeah, one sec. <laughs> Sorry. You can only bring it into a compositing program as a 2D image, which obviously is annoying, um, but that's just the way it is at the moment. I mean, there are some really advanced programs. Autodesk's got a few great ones um, where the, that isn't the case, and that's cool. But um, that's why you want to do as much as you can in 3D and make it look as pretty as you can before you bring it into After Effects. And you can touch it up. I'm not going to tell you how to touch it up because that is personal preference. But now, now you know how to um, do all of this. I'm just going to run over these folders, solids. Um, that's basically this is just going to keep your um, layers organized now there are special ways to use some of these some of these um, like for instance it's already set these to add um, which is what you want and if you go into um, T if you press T bring down the opacity um, which which layer is that okay so the specular what we could do is effect color correction curves, go to the alpha channel and boost it. If you just play around it will make a difference. And also the levels. Oops. Beautiful. So I hope this helped and I'll see you guys soon.